front of the local Chardon Municipal Guilty Plea Court. Uh, the judge that presides here is named J uh, Terry Stupido. I mean, Judge Stupica. It turns out Judge Stupica actually only won by seven votes. She's not even a, a resident of Geauga County. Her law offices is in Cleveland. Her husband's name is irrelevant, but let me tell you something a little bit about this court. On January 11, 2014, at approximately 11 o'clock, uh, this police department received the Chardon Police and the Geauga County Sheriff's received a 911 emergency call that there was an accident and people were hurt along Wisner Road, three miles within sight of their city uh, jurisdiction. The Kirtland Police Department um, repeatedly called them, told them that emergency assistance was needed there. Um, the people, Sally Harmasak and the other officers that were working at that night, including the Geauga County Sheriff dispatchers, um, they didn't want to put the donuts down or whatever was going on, but they decided that they're not going to issue a 911 call uh, to help out this citizen. So Kirtland police took it upon themselves to respond at, at the uh, Wisner Road inside of Sh uh, Chardon. Um, they, uh, they asked for emergency assistance. They got it. A state trooper um, ended up getting lost on the way to the scene. And when he did show up, you know, he asked what city he was in. This is an Ohio State Trooper called John Nemeso. And what ended up happening was the lady's girlfriend, her name is Sonny Victor, uh, was taken, her boyfriend was taken away in an ambulance. The state trooper um, asked her to do a field sobriety test. All she wanted to do was get home to her little girls. She's there for an accident. She lawfully refused to do a breath analyzer. There's no sense of doing a breath analyzer. She has no history of alcohol. He didn't smell any alcohol. And so what ended up happening was uh, they charged her with OVI, okay? Uh, not OVI refusal. And in Ohio, driving under the influence means just that. You're driving under the influence of drugs. And the case number on this case is Sonny Victor 14 CV 0144. Uh, this case ended up going to trial and she ended up being was found um, guilty on a jury trial uh, on June 20th on her first offense OVI, not for refusal. Now, pursuant to uh, section D1B of Ohio Revised Code 4511.2, 19 operating under the influence of alcohol or drugs it specifically says a court may admit evidence of the concentration of alcohol or drugs when a person submits to a blood breath or urine test or the officer police officer uh, has a warrant because he has probable cause that means in Ohio you can lawfully refuse if they don't the police officers don't want to get off their ass and go to a magistrate or fill out the pre-written warrants that are John Doe warrants that are usually issued by police departments that's the end of it um, this didn't happen on this case the police officer was put on the stand he said he followed policy and while the officer was on the stand under oath he was questioned one how many amendments were there are in the US Constitution he didn't know the judge said it was irrelevant during a jury trial. Um, he said he followed policy, but when he was asked whether or not he followed page um, 5 of 17 of Ohio State, State Police Policy two, or 902.20, uh, sections 6A through 6C, uh, it clearly states that troopers are required to get a search warrant if uh, a person refuses to get the test, and according to Ohio Revised Code uh, 4511.192, um, uh, Division or Section B, it specifically says that police officers are immune completely um, for um, any type of prosecution if they have to use unreasonable force. Um, just to put everything in the proper perspective, the difference between refusal and um, OVI. 
Um, in, o in Ohio, it requires that they get the concentration of blood um, to c convict you for OVI. On refusal, the element of the offense is that you refused, that you have a prior OVI within the past 20 years. So that means if you don't have a prior OVI in the past 20 years, you are not going to be convicted of anything. In a case called Mamu versus Adesak, 69, Ohio Supreme Court, 3rd, 33, uh, 339, 1994, the Ohio Supreme Court held that a trial court may give a refusal instruction to the jury if it refuses to have a chemical test and if they had a prior refusal within 20 years, they didn't have that. The statute does not criminalize all refusals. And so what we have is Judge Stupido inside here that only oh, basically only won by seven votes and isn't even a resident of Geauga County. This bimbo looks like Woody Woodpecker actually violated this person's right to interstate commerce, to travel, everything. Um, she ended up... Um, actually stay in proceedings on this case and it went on to appeal while this appeal was going on the uh, prosecutor of this town his name is James Gillette James Gillette he's a washed up attorney um, everything he does are, are guilty pleas inside this court um, he conducts pre-trials in the back room so half the time you never get in front of Judge Stupica because he does the pre-trials here and inside this court. And on the Sonny Victor case, she filed a motion, motion for test results in order to convict, to, just to speed it up. Of course, the judge denied the right to a pre-trial in open court. They also denied for the test results because Judge Stupido, Judge Stupica, I mean, said this is a refusal case it's not a refusal case it's never been a refusal case but the twist was what they didn't want to come out was the fact that the geauga county sheriffs the chardon police all of which were subpoenaed to come to court didn't want to come to court because of their gross negligence and deliberate indifference of sending um, a 911 call for an emergency so i was like looking sort of like closer at this stuff because there ended up being a federal class action lawsuit filed and um and in this particular case it was a uh, judge gwynn and the case name is sonny victor versus james gillette uh this is the case number here 14 cv 2731 um the uh james gillette or whatever um basically said that all of her videos that she had, all of her recordings mean nothing. And they were like, well, what, what what purpose does it have? We don't have to show up for court. We're police officers. We're not gonna testify that we dropped the ball. They also didn't wanna play the video that this, this Ohio State Trooper, John Nemesaw, repeatedly pulled Mrs. Victor from the car and searched her, you know, under the bra line, grab ass police officers are allowed to search anybody that they want and it's totally legal i agree with it but once you're handcuffed and you're in the back of the car and nothing's happening there's no reason to keep pulling a female prisoner out of the car feeling her up so the best thing to do you know whenever you deal with this john nemesol and stuff like this and when you're dealing with drinking and driving it says you need to come to the chardon court whether you plead guilty or not, you get the same fine. So take the stuff to trial, cost them money. You, you're entitled under Gideon versus Wainwright. It's called, they're called public pretenders, okay? And in Gideon, Gideon versus Wainwright, which ended up making it a constitutional right to self-representation, a petty thief with no education in law made it a constitutional right by writing a a habeas corpus on the back of a paper bag to fill courthouses like this with subspecies parasite attorneys that represent you in name only. So in the Chardon Municipal Court, if you do come to this court, and the way that it is, you can't challenge the status quo. So your public pretender is not going to file any motions. They're setting you up for the guilty plea. They're going to intimidate you. 
and if you try to represent yourself inside this court, you're, you're not going to get any evidence in because you've got Judge Stupica that has no conception of federal law. But things are coming to a head. Now Judge Stupica is actually, she's actually now a federal defendant on the case because she acted without subject matter jurisdiction. So you have a judge here that needs to be replaced. You have to remember how these elections are done. You need to vote her out of here in any way possible on the next election. Wake up, people. Thank you.